Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today we are going to be taking a look at one of the most relaxing yet cerebral puzzle games I have played in virtual reality in quite a long time. So today we're going to be taking a look at Shores of Loki on the Quest Pro and you know, I got to tell you, I am loving this game. It is super relaxing. It's got a little bit of a narrative to it and the puzzles are great. I mean, you're building worlds by putting them together as puzzle pieces. So I can't wait to jump back in and I can't wait to take you guys with me as usual. Let's go. Sometimes, sometimes I can feel that I'm small, insignificant, and also powerless. But isn't it true that I feel those feelings just the same as those who feel big, important, and powerful? My gracious belief has always been that life is a time for growth and evolution, and now, now I'm slowly gaining insight into the mysteries of my world. Am I just a small cog in the big wheel of time? Or am I a giant, able to move heaven and earth to create a reality that was once just a dream? Is it possible for me to take charge of my own destiny and find a way for elements to collide in harmony? I strive to make a difference. I have no choice, really. So, if this is what it takes, then this is what I'm willing to do. Whoa. Every beginning is small, and rebuilding my once forgotten world is where I must begin. This is so trippy. Okay, so let's grab these pieces. Very cool. And let's put them together. Nice. going on oh this looks amazing okay so welcome to shores of Loki I guess the the narrative part is stopped so I can talk for a minute so all right here we are and man I gotta tell you right off the bat this looks great in the Quest Pro and I you know I have no doubt it's gonna look good in any other headset you play it in it's just got a nice art style so um, also loving the music it's like very ambient and, and chill I mean that's that's the one thing when I played this a little bit last night just to check it out that I noticed is it was very relaxing um, the puzzles did not frustrate I you know they're there they definitely get hard but they they are so intricate that that it definitely kept my attention and kept me chill so loving that aspect of the game so all right 
let's show you how to play. So basically what we're going to do, just like we did with that sphere here a second ago, is we're just going to take the pieces and we're going to find out how they fit together. And there we go. And then once we've built something, it's actually going to go from the miniature scale and it's going to get bigger and become part of the environment. So loving that transition. Right, and with each passing iteration here, it's going to get a little harder. Okay, so that goes together. And that. Uh -huh. Let's turn that around. There we go. And last but not least, let's go ahead and sink you there. And boom. Love the reflections in the water, too. That's a nice touch. Ooh, nice lighting change. Okay. Looks like our next set of pieces are floating up. Come on, bring them. Let's see how this all fits together. So, no, okay, let's put these two together. There we go. It's like I got a Stargate going on here. There we go. Okay. Alright, now we're going to start building onto this uh, structure here, and we're going to make it a little bit bigger. So, let's see. the best at puzzles here but something about this just makes me want to keep going It's all about finding the little pieces that you can see that fit together here. There we go. Nice. All right. Structure's getting bigger here. <laughs> I love the little people walking around. Hi, little guys. You know, I've always loved miniature scale stuff in virtual reality. I, I don't know what it is about it. It just it just gives me that that little kid feeling here. Okay. No. Okay, so let's see if we've got another piece that might fit. And it definitely gets a little harder with each iteration here.
Now you got to watch out. One thing I don't like is, is that, as you just saw here, the developers for some reason put menu on X, and sometimes my thumb hits that and it brings up the menu. So developers, move your menu to where it should be on the Oculus button here. I'm sorry, that that's pause in this game, and I don't understand that at all. Uh, that I'm not gonna lie, that's happened to me a couple of times while I've been playing here, and it does get a bit frustrating um, when you are on a roll and all of a sudden everything snaps and you go into the menu. So, uh, just a little critique there. Um, the ABXY buttons should not be used for menu. Just saying. Okay. Let's see here. Okay, let's see if these two snap together somehow. Okay, come on. Find it, Don. Find it. And, you know, it's, it's definitely not to where you could just, you know, m just move the thing around here and it's just going to snap into place. You really do have to find the droids you're looking for. There we go. And, like I said, a lot of times it's just finding that one little thing, like in a puzzle, that you can see should go together. Now, I will show you, if, if, and I mean, if you need a hint, you can press Y here, okay, and then that's going to make it kind of light up, and it's going to show you where those two pieces go together. So, if you get super stuck, you do have an out there, um, but obviously, what's the fun in that? We, we want to we wanna do this to the best of our ability and get it all snapped together. Okay. Let's see. I think we're rounding home here. We're getting close. All right, let's see if those two pieces go together somehow. And sometimes it's helpful to put two of the pieces together to find what you're looking for there. Alright, perfect. And man, the detail level in this is stunning. I mean, just all the little details and, you know, like I said earlier, the little little silver people walking around. Uh, hey dude, don't don't jump. Oh wow, I can, if you really look close you can even see their little eyes. That is so cool. Loving it. Uh, love the miniature stuff in VR. Okay. There we go. That was a gimme. That right there. piece go right there boom nice got definitely the nice little palace uh, building up here so right. Let's see that goes there I think that's going to 
go right there. Where's my, where's my steeple go here? Did I get it? Yes! I got it! That is so cool! Alright. And. Uh, oh, whoa! Got like a rock giant. Hey, bro. How's it going? Love the scale of this. Okay, so looks like that was the end of level one. So I think, you know, for the sake of the timing of the video here, I don't like to make these too long. We are going to go ahead and cap this here, but you get the gist of it. Totally chill, nice music, great graphics, awesome puzzles. I am loving Shores of Loki. So if you have a Quest 2, if you have a Quest Pro and you want to check this out, I am going to leave everything that you need in the description. So follow those links, go learn more about this and grab a copy. I, if you like puzzle games or if, you just if you're just looking for something that's relaxing, I highly, highly recommend checking this out. But for me, that is going to do it today, guys. Thank you so much for watching to the end of the video. If you made it this far, you know that means the world to me and you know if this was your first time coming by the channel I say it every time but do me three things before you leave if you don't mind hit subscribe smash that like and ring the bell so that you get notified the next time I do something cool like this in virtual reality and of course if you're already a subscriber here at the channel guys we are so close we are 215 subscribers away from 10,000 and I owe that all to you guys so keep spreading the word man I, I could use the help I'd love to get to that goal by the end of the year so help me out if you don't mind but for me that's it I am super chill I think it's time for bed I'll see you in the next one this is Don signing off <laughs>